Hi everyone, and welcome to a new video. I am hoping to upload this vlog, and when I was trying to edit this video, I realized that the intro to the vlog, I had my camera facing the other way. I didn't have it facing me, so all you got was like the outside and you didn't get my intro. So basically, in this vlog, you'll see me going to a few antique stores while I was on the hunt for a frame or you know, frame with a painting that can go upstairs in my little golden area that I'm trying to create. Um, so it's first in Connecticut. I mean, I live in Rhode Island. Rhode Island's pretty small. Going over to Massachusetts, Connecticut, I mean, it's right over the border. I don't live too far away from those places. So I went over to Connecticut to start off from furthest and go into the closest ones that I wanted to go to. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy this vlog. Again, thanks for everyone who's been watching my channel and who has subscribed. I think I'm one person away or one subscriber away from getting 240 subscribers, um, which is like such a cool thing. And again, I appreciate all of you and thanks to my friends for supporting and mm, like subscribing. I'm like looking at myself because I have the front facing because I didn't want to have the same mistake that I just had. Um, but yes, actually, I'm gonna compliment myself right now. I think my skin is looking a lot better because I think I switched, switching back to Kiehl's. My skin is looking a lot healthier than it was when I was doing the Fenty Skin Care. I'm sorry guys, the Fenty Skin Care was not it for me, it might be it for you. Um, and I think I only recommended one product from that specific video, but it was not it for me. Um, my skin does better with the Kiehl's, so. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next uh, clip, or the next clip you'll see me at the store, and like going through the store, but yeah. Um, thanks so much for watching, and stick around if you like. Antique store I'm stopping at. Um, so I'm going the ones that's farther away to the ones that's closer, so. That's what it looks like outside. This is sort of cool. Town area is really cute, and they're mostly all antique stores around here, which is really cool. Look at this cool looking building. It's like the stuff you get in New England. Hey guys, so I stopped at the little store here in Rhode Island. It's actually in Rhode Island. I left the store in Connecticut. I came here to Rhode Island. Um, this is a little village um, that has a ton of like little antique stores. It has so many cute things. Um, and they have really nice, beautiful gold frames, but since I already have one that I spray painted and the tones off already, I spray painted two layers of paint um, to give it a certain look. And then on top of it, I put an antique gold um, paint with a brush. 
um, to get the texture and it warms it up a little bit. That's how it ended up looking the way it is looking right now. So I wanted really ideally to find something that was already wood tone, something that maybe had art in it already, or something that had art that I can paint over that if I didn't like it, if it wasn't too expensive. But I actually like the painting um, that this one came in and I found something it's already like a wood color uh, with some like maybe some metallic. So I'll be able to remove the painting, paint the frame, the color, so it kind of matches the tones of the one. So it'll be one on one side, one on the other. And the center, um, the center um, frame will be the standout frame uh, because it was an investment piece for me. Uh, or not an investment, but it was a purchase um, for me in terms of how much it cost. Um, but I'm so happy with the frame that I found. I, 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 yeah, I'm excited. I'm happy to get home and start working on it um, and updating the frame. I'll show you guys what it looks like when I get home, and then maybe I'll show you guys the after when it's fully completed. I don't know when this video is gonna go up, but yeah, I'm gonna head home now, or I'm gonna head back towards near Providence. Um, maybe I'll stop at a store in Providence too. Uh, I'm not really sure. We'll see. It's a beautiful day out, so it's like I want to be outside as well. The sun is out as much as I can, um, just because it's so sunny and beautiful outside. I'm wearing shorts, guys, in November in New England. That's iconic. Hi, everyone. I'm actually using the front-facing camera. I always use the, the back camera because it allegedly has like better quality, but um, if I had to try this, I can see myself. Um, I can see the front of the camera. But anyways, I actually have my trees from outside, inside in my sunroom, um, but I wanted to show you guys the frame. I'm back home now. I've changed because I'm gonna start spray painting I immediately get to work when I have a little project I, I, I want to get it done right away. Um, so yeah, I'm literally going to show you guys the frame now. Um, so you guys can see um, the painting and the frame and what I got. Um, sorry, I'm like, see, this is the thing about having the front facing that I can look at myself instead of looking over here, which is, I can see you guys. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys the painting now. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's an oil painting. Um, and it's just like really earthy and warm. I like it. Um, I don't know if I have taste in art, um, but the most important part is the frame. It's not like a, some of the gold frames that I saw were beautiful gold already that I wouldn't want to like spray paint and damage it because they were so gorgeous already. This frame is like that wood that I was talking about with some metallic here, which I'll be able to maybe, you know, I'll be able to like wipe down, sand a little, um, and spray paint and then paint the antique color that I want on top of the gold um, to get the overall effect. But yeah, I'm really happy. It has the thickness um, similar to the other frame that I have. Um, it's a complete different look, but um, I kind of wanted it to have like a different style of frame for each thing um, to make it the little museum that I wanted to be upstairs. So yeah, this is what it looks like now. Maybe I'll show you guys um, what the frame looks like when I spray paint it. So I thought about re recording the process of me like transforming the frame. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I have it in this box where I spray painted the last frame and I have the two spray paint cans. I do a warm tone or bronze gold paint under and then I do like a very gold, bright gold on top of it. And then I do the antique layer to warm that specific gold up. So I know it's like a weird process, but that's what I did with the last frame and I wanted it to look similar, so in tone. So that's what I'm gonna do with this one as well. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. Sorry, I just burped uh, in just a second. So everyone, this is my painting tarp. Um, this is what I used to paint and lay down some things while I was painting inside the house. And this is what I used to paint. Several things that you can see, some frames. I don't know frames, these are from the mats that I painted <laughs> that went inside some frames. Um, but this is what the frame looks like right now. Took the painting out a bit. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna put the first layer of um, paint. And the first layer is this bronzy, metallic -y, um spray paint. And then I go in the second row. Um, after that, press around a little bit with this metallic finish, more dark gold as I meant mentioned earlier but yeah that's what it looks like so far all right guys so this is what it looks like right now with the first layer of the gold of that bronzy gold that looks very bronzy but it already where you see already it transformed that wood frame um so much and it already looks much more expensive and sleeker than it did before 
um, which is definitely more the style that I'm looking, going for. Um, but yeah, I'll let this dry for a little bit and then I'll spray paint it with the other um, color. I don't know if it's going to be light outside, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to um, record um, that second paint just because the sun's going to go down now very soon. Daylight savings, New England. I think sunset's probably five something or four something, so it's getting near that time. So if you guys can see here, the sun is setting. So I actually might not be able to show you guys the result. You see my, my pool cover here. Um, but yeah, I might not show you the, the result until another vlog or another video um, when it's maybe hopefully hung up on the wall. So yeah, I'm back on the front camera, but I wanted to thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna be changing up maybe the content uh, on my channel a little bit um, in terms of like, I've wanted to do some fashion stuff, but I haven't done any fashion stuff. I plan on going to a thrift store and trying some things on. I might actually upload that before this video. Um, and I'm planning on doing some kind of styling, take one shirt and putting on different jackets and showing you guys how that changes the way something looks. Um, I'm not saying I know anything about um, fashion, but I, I like my style um, and maybe some people would enjoy it and will learn from what I have to share. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys are having a good day, evening, morning and are peaceful, positive, optimistic about the future and just maintain faith and that things one day at a time will get better if you work on them. Um, but yeah, I'm sending you guys positive vibes and you have a good rest of your day. Bye.